Hello, my name is Angela and I am a volunteer with Husky Haven of Florida. I am going to be putting together some videos to explain um, who Husky Haven is, what we do, and kind of how we do things. Um, I'll do some videos on the adoption process, on fostering, meet and greets, just basically what to expect when going through the process. Um, these videos will be good for our adopters, our fosters, volunteers, and even just our supporters if you want to get to know um, our rescue and uh, a little bit about Huskies. So, Husky Haven of Florida is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. This means that all your donations are tax deductible and all of those donations do go to the care of our rescue dogs. Um, we rescue stray, surrendered, and um, endangered Huskies. We tend to go more for the dogs that are medical cases in the shelters because those are the dogs that are least likely to make it out of the shelters. Um, we do have our take on owner surrenders and strays that are perfectly healthy and help them find forever homes. Um, as you know, the Husky breed is a very popular right now. A lot of people get them because they're pretty or they're cool looking. They look like wolves. Uh, we've heard it all. What these people don't know is that when they adopt these dogs, they can be a little bit crazy and they have very spunky, special personalities that we at Husky Haven absolutely love. So we rescue Huskies, Husky mixes, Malamutes, Malamute mixes. Sometimes a little mix of some unknown sort does sneak in and, and we will help them find a home. Um, we are 100% volunteer and foster based. What does that mean? That means that every single one of us that works for Husky Haven, we're volunteers. Um, we are not paid, we do this for free. We get zero dollars. So we get paid in Husky Kisses, we get paid in being a part of an amazing community of people that all has the same passion for these animals. And of course we get the rewarding um, excitement when that dog goes to their forever home and they're happy as can be. So. We're not paid. The dogs are in foster homes. So that means we do not have a physical location. Uh, we are not a shelter. You cannot come and view all of our dogs. Our dogs are all in private foster homes, uh, more normal settings, of course. And to be able to meet them, you do have to fill out an application and have it approved. Our application process is strict. It's very thorough. Um, you fill the form out online, we review it, and if you're approved, then we contact you for further um, setting up a meet and greet and interest in dogs. As a rescue, we also like to make our presence known in the community to help support, educate, and provide any assistance that we can, um, whether it's to fellow Husky owners or even to help other rescues out. A lot of the shelters and rescues will reach out to us when they need help with specific cases. Um, we hold a lot of events all throughout Florida, mainly in the Tampa and Central Florida area, but also South Florida. We have a lot of volunteers down there. Uh, we will also visit schools to educate the children on the breed. And we also, a lot of us volunteers are a part of a group called CFL Snow Dogs on Facebook. Um, it's a group that does weekly meetups with Northern breeds at local dog parks and we get together and let the dogs run, play. Um, it is also a great way to become known in the community. A lot of people say, oh no, here comes the big group of Huskies again, um, which is either a good thing or sometimes <laughs> they're a little bit intimidated by how big of a group we are. But that is also an amazing way for us to obtain new volunteers and also to educate people around us about the breed because there's a lot of misconceptions about Huskies. All right, back to being volunteer based. So since we're volunteer based and nobody gets paid, all of the donations goes towards these rescues. Um, there is another misconception out there and we've actually received some backlash on our adoption fees and on our fundraisers that we hold on Facebook or out in the public. Um, we've quote unquote been accused of getting rich off of the back of Huskies, which is extremely disheartening because we put in a lot of hard work to find these dogs forever homes and people have the misunderstanding that we're making money off of this when we aren't, we're doing this for our passion. So <clears throat> volunteer, donate, do whatever you can because every single penny goes towards these dogs. 
In 2017 alone, uh, it was $90,000 approximately spent on dog care. Dog care includes medical care, it includes food, treats, crates, transport, basically whatever it takes to take care of a dog. $75,000 approximately was how much we spent on medical care alone for the rescue in 2017. And so how much of that came in through adoption fees? $53,000 adoption fees, which is a lot of money, right? But clearly that does not cover the whole $90,000 that was spent on the dogs. So we do depend on adoption fees. We do depend on donations and fundraisers to help fund the care of these animals. Um, so again, donate, support us, do anything you can. If you can't donate, volunteer. There's all kinds of opportunities for you to volunteer with Husky Haven of Florida. All right, so that's gonna be it for this video. If you have any questions, go ahead and drop them in the messages below or check out our other videos and see if maybe your question can be answered by one of those. Have a great day.